In this video, I'll share my observations of using the Knirsi DMT-99 multimeter, things that for some reason no one else seems to mention in other reviews. Most people just praise it, saying it's a new step forward in multimeter development, and that all modern devices should be like this one, but I strongly disagree. The multimeter comes in a bright colorful box. Inside, besides the device itself, you'll find the probes and a Type-C charging cable. It all looks like you bought a smartphone, not a multimeter. One of the main features of the device is the built-in battery. That really is convenient. It's much easier to just plug in a USB Type-C cable and charge the multimeter than to constantly go hunting for batteries. On this point, I agree, a rechargeable multimeter is a step in the right direction. I hope this becomes a standard. But the display has its nuances. Yes, the large color screen looks impressive, especially compared to the classic monochrome displays found in most similar devices. But let's take a closer look. First, this kind of screen consumes much more power. This means that despite the built-in battery, you'll need to charge the device more often. If my old multimeter with occasional home use needed new batteries once every two years, I charge the FNIR CDMT-99 about once every two months. Sure, it's not as critical as phones that needs daily charging, but still, facts are facts. Second, the viewing angles. The display here is, to put it mildly, not the best quality. Most likely the cheapest available. If you place the multimeter on a table and look at it from the side, the image becomes terrible. Colors distort, black turns to white. You can still make out the values, the high contrast yellow font helps, but it doesn't compare to the good monochrome display. Only after using the device in real life do you realize that a color screen on a multimeter is more of a downside than an advantage, and a noticeable downside at that. The included probes gave me mixed impressions. I really like the thin tips. They make it easy to reach small components. But the handles on the other hand are too big, and I don't understand why. The most annoying part, though, is the wire. It's stiff, doesn't bend, constantly tries to twist itself and get in the way on the table. It's inconvenient to work with. Now let's talk about the device's biggest flaw. Think about which modes you use the most. For me, that's DC voltage measurement and continuity test. Voltage measurement works more or less fine, but the continuity test is very poorly implemented. To start using the multimeter, you have to turn it on. That requires holding down the power button for about half a second. The device turns on in auto mode, and you'd think you can start using any mode right away, including continuity. But that's not the case. In auto mode, the continuity test works terribly, with a huge delay, and the delay is inconsistent. Sometimes it's shorter, sometimes longer. Considering that you often have to check contacts that might be covered in flux or are in hard-to-reach places, this kind of continuity test is unusable. Sure, you can test a clean wire, but not much more beyond that. To enable proper continuity testing, you have to press the mode switch button five times. Five times, Carl! Now let's do an experiment. You pick up the multimeter. How long does it take you to enable continuity mode? And even then, getting the right mode on the first try isn't guaranteed. You often have to scroll through the entire list of modes again. Compare that to a traditional multimeter, where you just turn the selector knob and you're ready to go. I think the conclusion is obvious. If you often use continuity testing, a DEF near CDMT-99 is definitely not for you. Inside the multimeter, there is a relay. 
and it clicks loudly. Honestly, it's annoying. Every time you measure voltage, you hear those clicks. And not just once. If the contact is unstable, the relay will keep clicking multiple times in a row, switching back and forth. Let me show you what this looks like in practice. A voltage measurement in complete silence, no commentary, just so you can hear how intrusive it sounds. Now about the auto mode. In this mode, the multimeter does detect voltage quickly, that's a plus. But even despite the speed, there is still a delay. Most of the time, it first shows an incorrect value, and only a moment later, it switches to the correct one. However, if you manually select the DC voltage measurement mode, this problem disappears. The value is displayed correctly and stably right away. The multimeter has a rubberized case, which you think would provide good grip on surfaces, but in practice it's the opposite, the rubber is kind of slippery, and the device easily slides around on the table. A light tug on the wire and it's already moved. Same story for the kickstand, it looks flimsy, and when you press the mod switch button, especially with the multimeter standing vertically, the case bends and slides. It's inconvenient to use like that, you see it for yourself in the video. When operating, Defnur CDMT99 emits a very quiet static noise. You can only hear it in a quiet room. It's especially noticeable if it's lying on the table near your ear. It's irritating. Listen to how it sounds when I bring the microphone closer. I understand that most of the time, as the room you're working in won't be that quiet, maybe your PC fan is running, or maybe you're older and can't even hear those frequencies, but still, I had to mention it. It's a small flow, but a flow nonetheless. There might be other shortcomings in the devices that I haven't discovered yet, but even just from what I've seen, there is plenty to discuss. For example, when measuring capacitor values, there is no indication that the process is happening. You don't know it is measuring now or not. Just a blank screen, and you wait for something to appear. Moreover, it allows measuring capacitance above 10 MF without any error message or an overload warning. As a result, it shows completely inaccurate values, total nonsense that you can't rely on. Also, in my unit, NCV, non-contact voltage detection, doesn't work. The mode activates, but it shows complete gibberish. You can't use it. Detecting wiring in a wall with this mode? Impossible. So that's my honest review of the FNIR CDMT99 multimeter. I bought it with my own money, and I think that's pretty clear from the video. No ads, just my personal experience. If despite everything I said you still want to buy this multimeter, I'll leave a link in the description. There also be a link to the Unity multimeter, which also appeared in the video and cost about the same as the Afnirsi. Thanks for watching this video to the end. I'd really appreciate your subscription, likes and any engagement. It genuinely helps grow the channel. See you in the next video.